Welcome back to the Pepsi Cal Sports Report. On days like today, some of us uh, get the inkling to be out at Evans Diamond and watch the baseball team in action. In fact, you could have done that this past weekend as the baseball team hosted its annual alumni game. Last year certainly was a year of trials and tribulations for David Esker and his team. It all culminated with a trip to the College World Series. Barely by one. Game seven, winner go home. Red comes set. Looks to third. The pitch. He faced it in the right field. Coming in the score is Booker. Red the slip. He got it. He got it. He saved. And California wins it. Nice game. I cannot believe it. I apologize, folks. I'm sure you didn't hear any of that. Devin Rodriguez. My voice is gone. I called two games yesterday. Singles on a one-two pitch in the right field. And California advances. Unbelievable. It was a season like no other, from the brink of program elimination to the College World Series. Cal baseball was a thrill ride. After six playoff elimination games, the clock finally struck midnight against Virginia in Omaha, Nebraska. Definitely more upset that the season itself is coming to an end. You know, it's just you know something that not a lot of teams have. A lot of my best friends on this team. And, uh, just looking forward to staying in touch with everybody. I mean trying to get back here next year. Next year is now this year as the Bears begin the process of building another team. Last year's magical run has become motivation for coach David Esker who signed a new five year contract in August. Things get going so crazy and so often you know, I didn't have never really had a moment to kind of step back and say you know what we real that team took us to Omaha. I mean and that's that's the holy grail that's where you want to be and you know getting there is as tough as anything because the best team doesn't always win that tournament. The nature of college athletics is that you lose some top shelf talent every year. Despite losing ace Eric Johnson, the 2011 National Coach of the Year, believes first year pitching coach Mike New will compile a solid staff. Eric Johnson on Friday night, that's something you just don't replace right away. Although we feel in the top three spots, we're going to be pretty competitive, you know, with Justin Jones and Kyle Porter. Matt Flammer will probably go from, from closer to a starter. Uh, Logan Scott, who pitched great at the end of the season, looks like he'll be able to fill in that end of the game role. From then on out, we're going to be relying on some of the new recruits we got here at the end of the year. And then kids who've been in the program, it's their time. Such is not the case when it comes to position players. Led by Pac-10 Player of the Year Tony Renda and catcher Chad Christ, the Bears will field a very strong lineup on a daily basis. You know, we do return probably a returning player at every field position. Um, you know, we lost Marcus Simeon, our shortstop, but Derek Campbell, who played second base in the Super Regional and the World Series for an injured Tony Renda, he'll take over at shortstop. And then, you know, so then we've got an experienced player everywhere. And we're pretty competitive at a lot of spots, too. Not all the spots are just, uh, you know, a dead cinch for someone to start. Chris returns behind the plate as a two time All Pac 10 catcher who hit 297 last season. But his biggest responsibility will be to help Coach New mold the pitching staff. It's important for me to relay that to him, you know, someone with a lot more knowledge than I have about the game. And it's going to be about me working with the pitching coach and knowing the pitchers ins and outs, what pitches they have and everything, what they can throw in tough counts. Chris was drafted in the 13th round of the Major League Draft in June by the Chicago White Sox, but opted to return and continue his skill development. I think the thing we saw most was uh, he had the framework of what it took to be a good catcher. Good, solid receiving skills and the ability to throw and stop the running game. And to be quite honest, we felt like, hey, he may need to, to come a little bit with the bat, but we feel like that's what we do best, is we, we get hit, we train them to hit and get them to hit. And we felt like if he was lacking in any area, that was our, our area of strength. And we have a great catching coach in Tony Arnerich who felt like could bring him along as a receiver. Chris and his mates know all about tough counts. The program faced a full count, bottom of the ninth, two out situation just to get a chance to play again this season. After building a home run in that plate appearance, there's every reason to believe they can do it again. The Bears will open the 2012 campaign officially in February.